In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create AI prompts using one individual prompt, and this is going to allow you to create templates for any use case. Just imagine having templates and prompts for LinkedIn, Twitter, for YouTube, blog post content, and whatever material that you want to use and reuse. So let's jump into this video and learn how you can create AI prompts and save those for your database. All right, so welcome to this training. Again, we're going to learn how to use one single prompt to create perfect AI prompts every single time. Again, my name is Eddie, and I'm going to be the host for this entire YouTube video. So here is the golden prompt structure, or also known as the prompt formula. A lot of people need to understand this before they start creating prompts so you can have an idea of how this actually works. So we're going to be using the role, task, and context method in order to create the perfect AI prompt. So the role is we're going to be assigning a role which guides the AI on who or what it should act like. For example, we could tell the AI to act like a comedian or a sales copywriter or a YouTuber, etc. Then we need to give it a task. So giving it a task will provide it with clear and specific details so it will help with its output every time. Then we need to have it give context. So providing context will make sure the AI understands the situation and delivers relevant results without over hallucinating. So we're going to go ahead and use this specific prompt structure. I'm going to leave this in the description or in the comment section below for you. But this is the prompt that I use in order to create perfect prompts for any use case. It's going to say, I need you to create a skeleton advanced system prompt so I can always input it to get the same output. I need you to give the prompt a role, a task and context. I need you to keep it general for any topic and add brackets where I need to insert the information. Create a system prompt for X platform following the structure. And then I'm going to you want to go ahead and add whatever template, whatever post blog article or YouTube video script that you liked so it can create that system prompt over and over again. All right, so we're going to go ahead and use an example here for a LinkedIn post or LinkedIn thread from one of my buddies, Andrew McGuire. He's popping off on LinkedIn, so he's doing really good with his content. So I want to go ahead and see how I can create similar posts or topic ideas based on the structure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab one of his, his LinkedIn posts. And then I'm going to add in the prompt here within Claude or within ChatGPT or Gemini. You can use this for any AI model. And we're going to go ahead and use that system prompt and i'm going to add in that specific resources at the bottom here under these brackets and it's going to tell us again we need to insert the platform so it was a linkedin post and now from here we can just click on enter and it's going to give us a really solid system prompt all right so this is amazing it created the skeleton advanced system prompt for us based on our request so let me just go ahead and run through that so this is the role it's going to act as a LinkedIn content creator. It gave a task, create compelling LinkedIn post topic on. Then it gave us the context. So you are a professional content creator specializing in engaging LinkedIn post. Your goal is to create a post that resonates with the LinkedIn audience on X topic. Then we have the system prompt here. It gives us all of that information. You are an expert LinkedIn creator. Your task is to create LinkedIn posts on X topic. It's going to give us the hook, the problem statement, the solution teaser, main content. So it's going to give it two to three key points, uh, expert insight if we have any, a call to action based on our newsletter or YouTube video, whatever you want to push your visitors to, a closing thought, and it even includes style guidelines. So you could see how I can now use this as a skeleton system prompt and use it for my LinkedIn post, whether I'm writing as a ghostwriter, whether I'm doing it for my own business, but create a bunch of different templates for any use case. So let's go ahead and test it out together and see how it performs. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that system prompt that we got from Claude, and I'm going to click on enter. So now it's going to ask us about the topic and anything that we can provide it with. Let's just go ahead and use a random topic like this one, how to write blog post that rank on Google. So this is really amazing. So now it's creating the entire LinkedIn post. And again, this is just without me adding any more context or references. I highly recommend that whenever you use these templates, you need to continue adding further details, such as any use cases that you might have. And again, you don't even want to post this without editing it further and adding in more details. But this has taken us 90% of the way there. So to me, this is a really good starting point. We have a good headline. Did you know only 5.7% of all blog posts published online 
ranking Google's top 10 search results within a year of publication. What is the challenge? Creating content that not only resonates with your audience, but also catches Google's attention. Many bloggers struggle to balance SEO with engaging writing. But what if you could crack the code to SEO friendly blog posts that actually rank? And then it gives the one to three main key points. This is amazing because now I can either improve this, I can change it and tweak a few things. It also adds some expert insight. It adds a call to action. And this is just amazing. So this is just from one LinkedIn post. We could do this over and over again with other social media platforms. And I think everyone should try this out if they're trying to carry AI prompts for themselves. So now that we put it into practice and you understand how that one single prompt can create multiple different perfect prompts, you need to build a prompt list for every single use case. Now think of everything that you can create and build AI prompts based off of that. For example, this is what I'm doing and I'm going to show you my list that I use in Notion, but my content creation, when I do prompting, I think of writing blog posts, video scripts, video sales letters, social media content like LinkedIn posts, X threads, Instagram, viral scripts, anything like that. Then I also use it for research. So I created AI prompts for research. I have it for gathering information, summarizing article ideas, generating ideas, and also even summarizing video scripts. You can also use it for editing and proofreading. So create humanizer AI prompts. You can create uh, plagiarism prompts. You can do all of these different types of prompts. And of course, you want to make sure that it actually works and it's based off of that use case, but you can use it for refining text, checking grammar and improving readability. So I always tell AI to edit my content using an eighth grade reading level, and that really helps. You could also use it for brainstorming. So keyword research, YouTube video ideas, blog post topics, and create AI prompts based off of that, even for your titles or your headlines. So let me go ahead and show you kind of like some of the prompts that I've created and I'm still building this every single week. And every time I find a new idea or just like posts that I really liked, I'll create an AI prompt for that. All right. So here is a prompt list that I've created for YouTube. And you can see that I have a script outline, a automatic chapters prompt, viral title ideas, SEO descriptions, YouTube short scripts, and all that good stuff. So let's just use one for practice, but you could see here that I'm using that exact same prompt that I showed you. This is a YouTube chapters prompt. It's going to give us the role, the task, the context, and the general advanced prompt. We could also do one for viral title prompts. We have the YouTube video description. All right, so let's go ahead and try one idea here. I'm going to use my advanced YouTube outline prompt, and that's actually the one I use for all my YouTube videos and allows me to create amazing outlines really quick. So it gives us a role, task and context. So let's go to chat GPT and show you an example. All right. So when I click enter, it's going to ask us a few questions in order to get started. So I really like this prompt. This is the one I use every single day. And it says, what is the main topic of our video? What is the unique angle perspective on that topic? And do I have any specific ideas that I like to include in the outline? This is really good because it helps it not hallucinate. So I can just say a random topic like how to write killer blog post using AI. And the unique angle is I want to show people how to use better prompts to write blog posts. And any specific ideas, I don't have any, but let's just go ahead and see what it does for us. So you can see that's given us the title. It's given us a hook. It's given us the body with specific headers, and it's going to give us an open loop with the bullet points I can include in my slides. And I think this is really good because it's pretty solid and I think it's good as a starting point. So now from here, I can continue moving forward and writing my YouTube script. And again, it's like 80% done. So based off of that, I have all of these different scripts for YouTube. It's really powerful. And I think everyone should do that for their own channels, for their own content creation, and just try it out for yourself. All right, so that sums up how you can create AI prompts. So go ahead and do that for yourself. I would love to know what you've created in the comment section below. Let me know if this video was helpful. And if you created your own AI prompts, I would love to see them as well. If you have any questions, go ahead and drop those questions in the comment section below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.